Hello everyone and I hope you're doing very well. So today we're looking at combined arms and the use of the M1097 Avenger. Uh, this is always, I've always had a soft spot for this. I know the model is not particularly good in DCS. It looks a bit blocky and whatnot, but it's, I've always found it quite cool. It kind of fast moving, lightweight and still very powerful uh, low range anti-aircraft system. So let's go through it. It is a, a type, it is a low level aircraft defense system the chassis is of a hummer obviously there's the dimensions weight just under four tons good ground clearance over 400 centimeters four by four two crew oper operational range over 500 kilometers uh, the gun elevation depression up to 70 degrees and down to minus 10 degrees so that's pretty good um, the turret can turn 360 degrees uh, the launch speed of the stinger missiles are mach 2.2 with a maximum effective range of seven clicks which is about four and a half miles which is pretty good uh, minimum effective range 300 meters mm, disagree with that the gun can be effective right up to you know pretty much until we're touching this vehicle with the airplane so i guess that means the missile uh sensors it's got a forward looking infrared fleur now that's one of these camera optical you know one of these sensors here i don't know which one it is exactly It'd be interesting if anyone uh, had some more details about this i don't think it's the sensors on the actual missiles themselves as far as i'm aware stand to be corrected uh, it has a laser rangefinder, which is i guess another one of these guys and it has an optical sight which is another one of these guys now um i'm not sure which one it actually uses in dcs I know the laser rangefinder works and I know the optical sight works. I, th I think you can, they all are used but in different ways, some automatically, some manually. I think when we use the gun here, I think we'll use the optical sight then, the FLIR for the missiles and probably the rangefinder for both. Uh, the armament is four times, uh, sorry, eight times Stinger SAMs. It's pretty much the same thing as the shoulder launched version as far as I'm aware. And one times M2 machine gun, the kind of thing you'd have uh, mounted on the top of a Hummer. But this time it's uh, guided to an extent at least. Right, uh, so that's that. Let's uh, jump into the game now. Okay, so to drive this guy, we're going to be a tactical commander. Okay, okay. There he is. Let's click on him. Let's push the uh, drive button. Okay. So as ever, we'll start with the controls, and just to say, just like normal, all combined arms vehicles are driven by the same set of controls. You've got about 100 controls here under the combined arms tab, so it's very universal, very easy. We're not going to go through them because it's just a waste of, going to be a waste of time. I'll just go through the main controls as I use them, but they're all in here, and they're all really easy to learn. Okay, so first of all, the views. F1 view gives you inside, and then you can toggle inside or outside with F1 by pressing insert. So outside, inside outside use the mouse scroll uh, use the mouse sorry to move the turret about it's got a quick action turret which is very nice and elevation and azimuth and you can do the same thing inside here if we want to follow the closest aircraft we press the f2 button and we, you can use the mouse scroll and um and uh, pan the camera around like that if we want to look outside of our ground vehicle press f7 and by doing this the uh, mouse now scrolls in scrolls out and looks around like that Okay, so we're going to go back into F1. And we're going to go outside like that. Next, we'll have a look at the uh, kind of telemetry. Put our cursor up. Down here, we've got our AI formation, AI command. So we've got, if we've got multiple guys in this group, which we haven't, it's just us, uh, tells them the formation they should be in and their ROE, which we can change from the F10 view. We've got our ammo here. It's currently 8 of 8 FIM uh, 92 stingers. And we can change that if we press the E, the echo key. We've now got the M2 machine gun with 200 rounds. Echo takes us back. Uh, if we've got our neutral gear here, it can be forward, it can be drive for drive, neutral or uh, R for reverse. And so we better use that now. Let's unpause to go into drive. We press the X-ray button to go to backwards. Uh, we go the Zulu button to take it to reverse. So if we go to drive, press W for forwards, S for brake, D for turn right. S, uh, sorry, A for turn left. I'm going to put it back in neutral with a Z. Here we have our speed in miles per hour. Here is the azimuth of our main chassis. Here is the turret position regards to our hull position regards to north. Here is our health points, uh, how healthy the vehicle is. Here is our turret heading tape. So our turret is heading at whatever it's uh, looking at there. So uh, if 
I take the cursor off, you see like that. So next we'll use the vehicle to shoot some stuff down. It's very easy, very good fun. So we're going to unpause. We'll use the M2 machine gun first of all. And we're going to press E to turn to the machine gun. You can see it at the bottom right there. And we can fire uh, manually like this if I find a bad guy. I'm just looking for one. I've got no radar or anything, so we have to find it manually. I could fire like this. Or I could get a lock, an optical lock. And I would do that. I think it's an optical lock rather than a, uh, an IR up based lock. What I do is hold the cursor over the target and press the return key now while following it with the cursor and you can see what we've got now is our lock and what it's going to give us is our aiming instructions so you can see that circle up to the top right that as our lead indicator so to shoot this guy down i have to move my cursor to that lead indicator and fire so let's see if we can get some hits it's unlikely it's probably going to be far away you can see his distance at the bottom left there he's an su27 and he's 1.6 clicks away which is probably yeah, more or less out the range of an m outside the range of an m2 but we'll give it a go Uh, that's, oh, we got him! <laughs> Look at that, we got some damage on him. So that's good. Um, yep, so... Uh, an M2 isn't a particularly powerful weapon, obviously. So, oh, backspace gets rid of the lock. Enter, return gets another lock. So let's see if we can get this guy while he's coming over. Ah, he's past our um, maximum turret position. Got some more hits, and we're out of ammo. Let's see if we can reload. Left control and R would reload, and we cannot. That is all the ammo we get. So let's go to our stinger, press the E key. So the next is a little bit different. What we have to do is hover the mouse cursor over the target, press return to get a lock, and we have to continuously, because remember how of how a, uh, uh, an IR sensor works on a missile, it's bore sighted only. So we have to keep our mouse cursor over the target all the time. Very easy to lose the lock. So, and pause. Return, and keep it keep the mouse ah, I lost it I've got the lock so if we look to the left now I was holding hovering over him enough and now we have acquired the lock or we're about to in 0.0, .0 seconds and he's currently two kilometers so I'm gonna wait until that says locked and then I'm gonna press the left mouse button to fire the weapon fire oh I went for the flare let's try again um, actually you don't have to press return to lock this it automatically locks by the looks of it on the left Locked. Fire! It's gonna hit him. It's gonna hit him. Kaboomy! Um, and that's it. That's him down. Uh, there's nothing else really to it. That's shown using both weapons and the guidance we've got available, how to move the hull of the vehicle about, and the different views we can have. Um, I guess we just now show how to control it. It's gonna be the same as all the others, but we'll show anyway, because we can. Uh, from the F10 map, so tactical commander. Okay, okay. I'm going to click on him here. We can change his formation of his group. We can change his ROE to fire or return fire. So we're going to tell him to fire. Change his state green, red, or auto. We're going to keep that on auto. Restrictions. We can change the, the range that he fires. We can't turn his radar off. Oh, look at that! Because he doesn't have one. Um, we're going. We can tell him to engage air weapons. Let's just pause that before he shoots everything down. Uh, we can apply to group, uh, but we don't have a group, and I'm not actually sure we can apply to a group in this type of vehicle anyway. And we can set a path if we want him to move, so we're going to press set path. Left click, left click, left click, left click, and right click when you want to finish your path, and that sets him on his way. And to speed him up, off he goes. And I think he's one of the type of weapons that can fire and move, so we're going to have a quick watch. Mud thumper. Beautiful stuff. So that's that weapon. Like I said, I really like it. Go and do it and shoot some humans down on a multiplayer server and piss them off. And um, good times. See you later.